Question number 8 says that compare the following numbers. In each of the two bits, we have been given with two numbers and we have to compare them. We'll start with the first bit. In the first bit, we have 2.7 times 10 raised to 12. The power of 10 is a positive 12, so the decimal which is in between 2 and 7 will move 12 places towards right. So we will basically get 27 followed by 11 zeros. Now coming to 1.5 times 10 raised to 8, we again see that the power of 10 is positive, a positive 8, and the decimal which is between 1 and 5 will now move 8 places towards right. So we will get 15 followed by 7 zeros. So from this we can clearly observe that 2.7 times 10 raised to 12 is greater than 1.5 times 10 raised to 8. One more conclusion that we can draw from this is, whenever two numbers are expressed in their standard form, then we can clearly say that the number with a greater power of 10, the base 10, will be greater than the other one. So by following the same logic in the second bit, we see that the two numbers have been expressed in standard form. So one is 4 times 10 raised to 14 and the other is 3 times 10 raised to 17. So the one with a higher or a greater power of base 10 is 3 times 10 raised to 17. So clearly 3 times 10 raised to 17 will be greater than 4 times 10 raised to 14. And this is how we can compare numbers which are expressed in standard form. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.